In this tutorial, I'm going to take two images and clone them into one using GIMP. I'm going to take two photos in a setting outside, which is important because the setting doesn't ref reflect back from you. If you're in a room, you get a back reflection from the wall, and then you get a different tone in when you took the second photo. This first photo is to check to see if the images fit the frame. Now I set the timer to 10 seconds and return to the bench seat and wait for the flash to go off. Now I'm pretending I'm reading the newspaper because this is part of the setup of the image. I wait for the flash to go off and then I return to the camera and reset the timer. Now that's number photo number one. You see now that the background is important because there's no no flash bounce from the background and there's no different tones where you'd get it on a, a wall in a room. Now I reset the timer to 10 seconds and return to the bench seat and sit on the opposite side of where the first photo was taken. I hold steady Pretend I'm looking over the other guy's shoulder, reading a newspaper. Wait for the flash to go off. And that's our second image. Now all we need to do now is to pack up and reload our images into GIMP. Now that we have our two images, we need to load them into GIMP. The first one, you open as normal. Click on open. And they're on the desktop, so make it easy to find. This picks number one. We click on picks number one and open and it opens it up in GIMP. The next one we open as a layer. We click on open as a layer and then we choose our number two pixel or PIX in image and open. Now with our two images on board, the top one we're going to uh, add a layer mask. We go to layers, mask, add a layer mask. Needs to be full wide opacity. It usually defaults to that and we add the mask. Now over on the side here you'll notice that one's black, that means it's, it's not, not active. Now I've clicked on it, it's become a white border. That indicates that it's fully active. We need the, the layer mask active, so we click on that one. You can't see the white border, but the, the black is placed back onto the other image. Now that we're in there, we go to our paintbrush. We make sure it's, it's in black, and we increase the size of our brush to a large one and it's still too small so we take it up to full maximum. That's it there. Now you have an idea where the, the imi other image is sitting on the when we took the two photographs. Now what we're going to do now is paint over the mask and display the background of the other image. It's as simple as that. And you just paint over it all over the place to bring out the other image. If you make a mistake you just go back to white and paint that. Now I'll let go uh, you see there now there's a little tiny white spot that means I've missed something down the bottom there so I'll paint over it and hopefully I can get it out it's gone now completely covered and that and that's uh, completed our tutorial you notice there that this fellow here is now looking over his shoulder and reading the paper and it's cloned two images into one when I stated that the you need a tripod well I'll just enlarge this image and decrease the size of my brush you can see there that the camera slightly moved and it, it broke the stay on the table but I can paint that out by just following it up to the top until it goes into the bigger area and you can't see it anymore it's still broken but it, it's blended in with the top part of the image so I'll zoom back out and now I just go to image and flatten images and brings the two together with the, with the mask and that's our job completed. This chap here was reading the newspaper. Well, this fellow had to pay for it, this one didn't. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and rate the video.